Long haul for the drivers. Good start there from Conor McCloskey. Not so good from Godfrey on the inside. Oh, oh, Abenden's going to go for the Joker then. Side by side with Godfrey and McCloskey. Godfrey gets the whole shots into the first corner ahead of McCloskey then. Ahead of Steve Hill. Ahead of uh, Robert Fittles then. So Abenden goes for the Joker. Gets himself out of the traffic. But it's Godfrey then who's got the advantage into the Devil's Elbow. He's got the race lead. But already further back as well for P3. Robert Fittles is putting the pressure on the Steve Hill. McCloskey is a bit slow out of the Devil's Elbow. That could allow potentially a little window there for Steve Hill to find his way through. He tried to into the North End, but wasn't able to find his way past. Yeah, second well for now but Abenden's pace is the one to watch really Roberts Vittles is onto the rear bumper of Steve Hill and Roberts the Latvian team goes into his joker lap will he lose out to Abenden he will so yeah, Steve Hill Vittles for fourth place isn't it really and, and we're throwing Abenden as well but Godfrey is who leads in what is the oldest car in the field that Ford Fiesta Mark 6 still as trusty as ever as it goes up into North Bedhead but they broke, don't fix it. That's certainly the case with Dilly and Godfrey, isn't it? That car is, uh, as you said, quite quick in the two, but certainly one of the quickest out there, especially in this uh, semi final race ahead of Godfrey. Now, by a good, comfortable margin, is anyone going to joke on this lap? Are they going to wait for the final one? Presumably, Godfrey is going to wait until the last opportunity to do so. Steve Hill does go for the Joker from P3, so he's going to move his way through, and it's going to be him versus Vittles there, but I think Vittles is going to be in with the shadow of taking this one. They're coming through the Joker now, and Vittles is easily then ahead of Steve Hill, so the number four in the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo looks to be out of the final for round one of the Five Nations British Rally Cross Championship, unless anything comes a cropper for the four drivers in front of him. the Joker, gives McCloskey the lead, but comes out ahead of Ovenden, who was the first of the starters to take that longer route. So that could have been his thinking there. He knew that Ovenden was showing good pace. His sponsor would have been on the radio, and he managed to cover off Chris Ovenden and come out with clear air. It would have been far too risky to do on the final lap, especially given up his pace. As you said, if he'd done that, he would have been side by side with him. It would have been door handle to door handle. So just giving himself a little bit of a cushion. Now he's out of the front, and then he's doing Godfrey with Tristan up in the Citroen the entry, bearing down on him. Over the timeline comes Conor McCloskey then. He goes for the Joker then as it stands. So where is he going to emerge in this scrap with uh, Godfrey and Ovenden following them through? Robert Vittles looks like he's going to try and challenge then. It's going to be very close between Vittles and McCloskey coming out then as they come through the Joker then side by side. And Robert Vittles then, the Latvian driver, is through in the Citroen C4 into third place. Is McCloskey going to try and retaliate into the Devil's Elbow? He's not quite close enough. Didn't get brilliant drive going through then. They both run a bit hot as does Tristan Ovenden kicking up dust from second position in the red and yellow machine. But very, very nice racing indeed from these boys. Great to see the top four so closely matched on pace. And Julian Godfrey now trying to keep it on the straight and narrow as he comes to the last lap. Yeah, the top stuff for Julian Godfrey. Last lap board is shown. He's been a good, clean Julian style drive. Controlled and measured, no mistakes, but he's got one last lap to go. Tristan Ovenden's pace, super impressive. He's on to the rear of the six-time champion ahead of him. Both of these have got cupboards full of British Rallycross trophies, but Godfrey really is the master with six supercar crowns to his name. But Ovenden isn't letting that get to him at all. He is sticking with Godfrey, and Godfrey's having to go defensive. Ovenden wants that front row start for the final, and if he's going to get it, Checkered flag in semi-final two. So it's Julian Godfrey from Tristan Avenue from Robert Smittles from Conor McCloskey then, who just holds on. So I don't know whether McCloskey had some kind of a technical problem at the end of that race, but he really dropped back and was almost falling into the clutches of uh, Steve Hill there. Yeah, so after the semi-finals then, Steve Hill and Andy Scott are the early the drivers to be heading home early, at least for today. They'll be back for more on Monday. <laughs>